Yes, Hodgkin went to, uh, yes, uh, yes, J.J. Young had discovered this giant nerve fiber in squids, but had never done anything really significant experimentally. I think he'd measured its speed of conduction, which was, uh, well, high compared with small diameter fibers. But um, Hodgkin went to Plymouth to study them and invited me to join him in August. Earlier I'd been on holiday in Scotland and so I did join him at the uh, very end of July and between us we managed to get, it, get these fibers set up so that we could put an electrode down actually inside them. We had them hanging vertically in a trough of, of seawater, which is, has the same composition as uh, body fluids. And we'd stimulate it at one end and uh, record the uh, impulse as it goes down. And in order to get a good recording, we needed to keep down the resistance of the inside of the tube that we put inside, the glass tube drawn out to an outside diameter of a tenth of a millimeter, a lot smaller inside, and we had to have it filled with, uh, with a fluid. Uh, well, I think we used seawater again with the same concentration as the squid was accustomed to, but that gave it a rather high resistance and uh, that together with the input capacity of the amplifier would have distorted the, uh, uh, the action potential. So I threaded a bit of silver wire down inside this uh, um, uh, glass tube electrode to keep down the resistance. And then a trick that um, Alan knew was to make the, to prevent the silver from becoming polarized by passing current. Um, he passed a, uh, a current making the silver the positive electrode, which dissolved some of the silver and made a precipitate of silver chloride, very insoluble, on the outside of the silver. So that the silver metal was in contact with a saturated solution of one of its salts. And uh, that made it a uh, non-polarizable electrode. It could pass uh, small but appreciable amounts of current without the voltage being distorted by, uh, uh, well, polarization it's called. And, uh, well, that enabled us to uh, record the uh, impulse from the inside of the squid fiber without distortion. And we, when we put it down first, we recorded the resting potential, the, it was already well known well, since the 19th century that the insides of nerves and muscle fibers are electrically negative to the outside. But the actual value of the negativity was not known. But we found that it was, uh, well in these damaged fibers, it was about 50 millivolts negative inside. But when we stimulated the fiber at one end and the action potential went past the tip of this electrode, it didn't merely come up toward the potential of the external fluid, which was what all the textbooks told us at the time, but it went very substantially positive. And we published this in a short note in Nature describing the observation and 
uh, but with no discussion and no conclusions. <coughs>